A 14-year-old is behind bars after investigators say he's been involved in a series of car thefts and break-ins across the city of Memphis and Shelby County. Now, deputies tell us that teenage suspect is facing several charges, including three counts of theft of property and possession of a handgun. Fox 13 Sierra Jordan joins us live in East Memphis tonight. Sierra, investigators say he was responsible for 15 car thefts and break-ins. Yeah, Darcy, the Shelby County Sheriff's Office says the 14 year old is responsible for six incidents in Shelby County and another nine in Memphis. Now, investigators say one of those incidents happened right in this parking lot at Chaw in East Memphis, and he stole an infinity in broad daylight, and it was all caught on camera. If there's harsher uh, penalties, there'll be less crime. Take a look at this cell phone video taken by people inside of Char Restaurant on South Highland Street. It shows three mass thieves breaking into the sunroof of a 2020 Infinity Q50 in broad daylight two weeks ago. The Shelby County Sheriff's Office says one of the suspects is a 14-year-old boy involved in 15 car break-ins and thefts across Shelby County and Memphis. And there comes a time where um, a slap on the wrist no longer works. After a two and a half month investigation, officials say deputies, canine units, and Memphis police officers carried out a search warrant on Crosswood Lane in Frazier. The county sheriff's office say they arrested the 14 year old and a 17 year old and found two Glock handguns, several car key fobs, and a key fob programming device. Fox 13 spoke with the founder and CEO of Heal the Hood, Liddell Beeman. Beeman works with the youth from areas with high crime on a daily basis. He believes one of the solutions to fixing juvenile crime starts at home with parents and guardians being involved with their children and keeping them connected with positive activities. Where are your things where kids can really dream and become adventurous? We're investing uh, into a whole lot of sports activities all around for kids, but every kid is not going to be in the NBA. Every kid is not going to make it to the NFL. And so you have to start creating a diverse culture of adventure for young people right in your backyard so you can open your eyes and look out there and say, this is where my kid is and I know it's all good. Now the sheriff's office say the 14 year old will be facing eight charges and the 17 year old will be facing two. Deputies say both teenagers are expected to have more charges coming their way from the sheriff's office and Memphis police. Darcy. That is Fox 13 Sierra Jordan reporting live tonight. Thank you, Sierra.